Welcome to this webinar from MBL entitled The GDPR Requirements for Controllers and Processors 2023. I'm Robert Bond. I'm a notary public and certified compliance and ethics professional and a senior counsel with Privacy Partnership Law. I've presented on this topic before, but uh, felt we needed to do an update to cover some of the recent developments in the past year in relation to controllers and processors. Uh, I'm talking about the GDPR, in other words, the EU GDPR and the UK GDPR. I might mention as we go through what could be a change that we will see from a UK perspective if the Data Protection and Digital Information Bill passes in accordance with its current requirements, particularly around things like ROPA and DPIAs, uh, but that's almost something uh, for the future. So what will I cover uh, in the next hour? I'm going to take us backwards slightly and just remind us of what the GDPRs say in terms of applicability principles, sanctions for non-compliance, uh, requirements to have an appropriate lawful ground for processing, how we respond to individuals' subject rights. I'm going to look at data transfers, data breaches, specific duties of controllers and processors, and then the impact of the uh, European Court of Justice decision uh, otherwise Schrems too, and that what that means for controllers and processors in terms of data transfers. So that's the next hour. Let's get started. I've put here the applicability requirements.